Just a reminder that these videos are more just to start conversations than give a whole lot of information, so please feel free to reach out and let's continue the discussion in the comments. Today's book was required reading at the Hermitage of the Holy Cross where I spent the second half of 2016. Enjoy. Hello everybody and welcome back. This is episode 19 of Orthodox Review and I am your very froggy host. <laughs> At any rate, um, we're going to be taking a very brief glance at um, Dorotheos of Gaza's uh, Discourses and Sayings. This was published by uh, uh, Cistercian Publications. Uh, it's part of their Cistercian uh, Studies series, which uh, doesn't necessarily have a, a bent one way or the other to east or west, but Abba Dorotheos is one of them old-timey desert dwellers. So, uh, real quick about uh, Father Mark of the Saints, uh, Abba Dorotheos. He uh, was born in uh, 505 in or around the uh, Antioch area um, and uh, reposed in uh, either 565 or 620, depending on who you ask. Uh, he celebrated on uh, June 18th or the 5th on the old calendar. Uh, and in some jurisdictions on August 13th or 1st. Uh, he joined the uh, Saint, pardon me, joined the Abba uh, Sferidus Monastery near Gaza uh, through the influence of Saint Barsanufius uh, Bar and John, who were his uh, spiritual elders, um, and uh, labored under them, uh, founded a nearby monastery uh, around 540. Um, he was a, a studious man and a worker, uh, and pretty much kept his mouth shut until, uh, St. John, uh, reposed, and at that point, uh, St. Barsinufius just went silent. Um, so, uh, so Abba Dorotheos, he kept silent out of respect for that, uh, up until that point. He believed that he, he didn't really have much to say, uh, because he was in awe of his, uh, spiritual fathers. Um... And then, of course, you know, when it was his time, he he was, uh, well, you'd have to read the book to understand just, just how well, well read he was, well versed. Um, let's, uh, let's just, and I, I will say this is a, this is a pretty, uh, pretty good translation here in that uh, it's easy to read. Uh, wouldn't say modern English, but it's easy English. Uh, we were also the scapular, and the scapular is placed across our shoulders. This signifies a cross on the shoulders. As he said, take up your cross and follow me. What is the cross but the perfect mortification set up through the faith in Christ? For faith, as the teaching of the fathers again has it, always gets round obstacles and frees us for the work which brings us to this perfect mortification. Uh, most of what uh, what he writes uh, is based solely in scripture. Um, he didn't uh, offer any doctrinal teachings at all. Um, it was more based on <clears throat> his his everyday experiences and and his monastic experience. So it's uh, it's it, it's it, it's really a down to earth read. Um, I would say this is a uh, this is a great book if uh, you're just getting into uh, the Desert Fathers or Patristics or anything. It's 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 a nice ease into uh, into that realm. Now I think, and I should have looked this up beforehand. I'm I'm pretty sure that Saint Vladimir Seminary, Seminary Press also has some of his works, uh, but this uh, this particular translation um, was uh, released in 1977. Um, and for a little while, it was a difficult book to come by. I was assigned this reading uh, when I was preparing to enter the monastery um, uh, in my time leading up to the uh, summer of uh, 2016 when I, when I left for the monastery. And uh, this, is, this is part of their uh, required reading <laughs> list, which, um, 
You know what? I'll, I'll see if I can dig that up and post a link to that below because that would be of great interest to a lot of you, I'm sure. Uh, so over time, um, not a whole lot of time, read the book and I was encouraged to write down things from the book that jumped out at me. So this is my notebook from the monastery. Uh, and what you had to do was just have a notebook and write down anything that jumped out at you. So from Abadar Theos, and these are all transcriptions of passages. It's not like I wrote down, oh, page, blah, 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 what the number is. I actually went through, you, you know, you go through the book and you write down to try to commit to your heart um, what jumps out at you. And so it's not a tremendous amount, but it's, uh, it's a few pages. And yeah, just, <laughs> just notes upon notes upon notes upon notes. Uh, if you're interested in the notes, um, I will uh, I'll probably take scans of those and post them on the Instagram page. But at any rate, um, it's not an expensive book. Retails about twenty dollars. Of course, in my head, everything retails for twenty dollars. I'll leave an Amazon link to it. Uh, you can actually also purchase it through uh, the Hermitage of the Holy Cross because it's one of their required reading books. They do carry it in the bookstore. Uh, so I'll, I'll send that link as well um, so you can buy it through either or. At any rate, uh, not much to add on this outside um, of the fact that my experience with the book is interesting in that I didn't read it for, for leisure or pleasure. It was assigned reading. And I've never been good with assigned reading. So um, the, the ease with which I was able to get through this uh, is really a testament to um, how Abba Dorotheos could relate a message, um, and a very simple one at that, uh, to, his, to his brothers. So if, if a dunce like me can get through it, um, I'm pretty sure you can too. And uh, I would say anyone that's interested at all in, 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 in desert life and the life of the ascetical fathers. This is a, I mean, just not even as an introductory to patristics and uh, to desert fathers, but just to asceticism in general. It's a, it's a great first step. Um, I would say after, after this, you can move on to like St. Uh, St. Ignatius Ryanchenov uh, to uh, like the arena or some of the newer um, translations of his that are coming out through uh, Holy Trinity. But uh, at any rate, so, uh, Dorotheos of Gaza, Discourses and Sayings. It's, <laughs> you can see, this, uh, this one's seen better days. I did buy this new. Uh, I, I think, when did I, did I write down when I bought this? I have a tendency to do that with books that I own. But I would imagine, uh, I think I bought it in like uh, 2015 or early 2016. So it's got a few years on it. Um, it's been well read. <laughs> At any rate, um, we do have uh, plenty of episodes coming up this week. Um, it just so happens that my free time works out that way. So uh, be expecting uh, in some upcoming episodes another prayer book and uh, another publication from New Rome Press uh, featuring the works of uh, St. John Chrysostom. And I will in no way, shape, or form <laughs> try to talk uh, about what he wrote uh, I am not worthy to comment on his works. So in that episode, we'll be focusing mostly on the publication itself and uh, and all that jazz. Wow. The content of my videos has really gone down the tubes, hasn't it? i got to get it back up on my A-game. And anyway, I can't even speak straight at any rate. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in for this brief, uh, brief look at a wonderful little book. Um... As always, if you have any questions, comments, or want to further discuss the book, please hit me up in the uh, comment section below, check me out on Instagram, or uh, just hit me up in Messenger. You know, email me, whatever. I like talking about this stuff. Um, these videos are really just here to kind of put the product out there and inspire discussion. So uh, that being said, one and a half big thumbs up, go to church, say your prayers, and remember God. God bless.